<laughs> yeah, so, yeah, just like I said, lying down on our mats. We are start slowly work our way into a nice yoga frenzy. So you can have your hands on your belly, your knees bent. You can let the knees press together. And then just that. let your eyes close, let your, your face relax. So maybe you've just rolled out of bed. So take a little bit of time to settle and just to notice how your body's feeling today. And as always, just noticing your breathing. And start to slow that down. Slow your breathing down. Seeing if we can take this time to connect our minds and our bodies together. And just seeing if you can let go of the weekend and let go of whatever's happening next. And really drop into this moment. You might notice the belly rising and falling as you breathe, so you could use that as an anchor within. Or you might be lost in the rhythm of your breathing. Or you might be noticing the weight of your body into the mat. Keep it just that way and see if you can keep it that way throughout the whole class today. And if it's good for your shoulders and good for your arms, let's just take your arms up and over your head. If that's really uncomfortable for you, you can just have them down by your side. Heel to the feet a little bit closer together. And then start to bring the right knee into your chest and circle the right knee. Seeing how all that feels there in your right hip. I'm trying to keep the back of the left hip pegged down into the mat so that we really explore the, the right hip. You can have your eyes closed through all of this bit. It's almost like you're cancelling out any distractions around you and, and focusing on that hip completely, focusing on your breathing completely. Take the circle the other way. Does that feel different? And then without using your hands, just try and squeeze your right thigh closer towards the chest. And then start to pulse the leg in. Nice little pulses, just in, in creating a bit of heat in that right hip. And then we'll slot the right ankle just on top of that left thigh and see if we can actively draw the right knee towards the front of the mat. Now, without using your hands, try and bring your left thigh into your chest. And I want you to push your right ankle into your left thigh and your left thigh into your right ankle as you go into the stretch. 
So you might like to do little pulses there, or stillness is better. If you need a little bit of help, you can always slide your arms or your hands around that left leg. But if you're all right without the arms, then just little pulses or stillness, working on opening up that right knee, getting into that right hip. And then pop in the left foot back onto the mat. Just extend your right leg up to the sky and we'll do little circles with your right ankle. Then we can feel the, the night's sleep there, so the stiffness in your ankles and your calves and your shins. And then take the circles the other way. Releasing the right foot onto the mat. Now, again, don't use your hands. You're going to squeeze your left thigh into your chest. And then create a nice big circle with that left knee. So think about your opposite hip. Think about that right hip pegging down into the mat. And then let the left leg just move freely in this left hip. Mine's a little bit clicky today, so I'm going to try and find a smoother pathway. And we'll take the circle the other way. And again, without using your hands, bring the left thigh into your chest. You can hold it there. I like to do little pulses, just squeezing the left thigh in. Belly's drawing back as well, so getting a little bit of engagement through the core. And then place your left ankle on the front of the right thigh, and we can let the knee open there. How's that feel in your left hip? Now push the left ankle into the right thigh and right thigh into the left ankle and see if you can pick the right leg up. We'll draw the right thigh in. Maybe you feel good just like that or maybe pulses is going to work well. It always works well for me that. Yeah, but if you're struggling to be here in this shape, then you can always wrap your hands around your right thigh or a strap around your thigh and draw the knee in closer. But if you can be here without that, then just little pulses or stillness, working on that left knee staying open. Okay, and then we can pop the right foot back onto the mat and then extend your left leg up to the sky. I'm gonna draw little circles with the foot. And then take the circles the other way. Hopefully feeling a little bit of heat there in your foot. And pointing and stretching. Good. Okay, so let the left foot rest back down onto the mat. Big breath in, let your belly expand. And as you breathe out, belly draws back, push your feet and lift the hips up to the sky. That's it. Let's do little pulses. So you're pulsing the pubic bone, the pelvis up towards the sky. Feeling the hamstrings, feeling the glutes. And then draw a figure of eight with your hips. So it's a little bit awkward, but see if you can imagine the hips creating that figure of eight shape. Working out how your core is today, how is your back, hamstrings, glutes. Okay, push the hips up a little bit higher and then let the spine lower down nice and slowly, vertebra by vertebra. So now bring both thighs either side of the rib cage and wrap your, the crook of your elbow over each knee and then interlace the fingers and draw the hands back towards the chest. Yeah, so you've got a nice big space in between your legs. If that's not possible, you can always have your hands just on your knees there. You're breathing in, 
Belly expands, body expands. And breathing out, try and draw the hands closer towards your chest. Relax your hips, relax your legs, relax your feet. Let the arms do the work here. Releasing the hands, and you're going to start to roll up and down your spine. Do that nice and slow. You've been lying down for a little while. And we're going to come into Baddha Kanasana, so soles of the feet together, knees open, hands by your side, push down to lift yourself up, and then start to walk yourself forwards. Relax the head all the way towards the floor. That's it now. You might want to flutter the knees so if that feels good, or maybe stillness is good. Breathing in, try and lift the head and chest up, clawing onto the mat, drawing the chest forwards, and then exhale, fold it forwards. Walk your hands over to the right side, forehead down towards the right knee. Breathe into that left hip. Can you really squeeze your left sitting bone down into the mat? Walk in the hands all the way around to the other side. And now exploring this left side. Forehead down towards the knee. Breathing into the, into the right side. Yeah. What do you feel there? It's good, coming back to the center. Walk your way back up. One last little stretch before we get going. Bring your knees up and extend the legs out in front. And we're gonna pick your right leg up. So you put your foot on the outside of that right uh, left leg. And then point your toes and try and draw the foot on the outside of the left thigh. Flex your, your left foot. We then lift yourself up. And then breathe out and walk your way forwards. Notice how the hamstring is there. Can you squeeze both sitting bones down into the floor? And let the breath flow. So that, that breathing is going to help the muscles to relax. Help you get into this pose. Walking your way back up, well done, guys. Well, release the legs. And then same on the other side. So you're going to bend that left leg. And we'll pop the left foot on the outside of the right leg. And then you point your left toes so you can wrap the foot on the outside of the right leg. Breathing in, lift yourself up. And then breathing out. Allow yourself just to float forwards until you feel your hamstring. Pushing down through the right sitting bone. You can always be on a block or on a pillow, you can sat on a block or a pillow if this is really tough for you. I'm certainly feeling this in my hamstrings this morning, so take some time, breathe into it. Let your breathing tell the hamstring it's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Now you guys start to walk your way back up. Excellent. We'll take the hands behind us, release that left leg, have your feet flat on the floor, knees bent, and then windscreen wipe of the leg, have it coming in and out. Hopefully those hips feeling a little bit more awake. Legs a little bit more awake. Getting ready for our malasana. Okay, so you're going to step onto your feet and then bring yourself forwards into malasana. You know that you can use blocks underneath your heels if this is really tough for you this morning. Bring your palms together, elbows into your knees, lift the head and chest up. And feel the weight of your tailbone draw you down, grinding you down, and then the lift through your head. Drawing you up. 
And so lightness through the head, heaviness through the hips. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now from here, place your right hand on the floor. And then take your right leg all the way to the back of the mat. And then bring your right foot all the way back in. Come back into Malasana. So left hand down onto the floor. Push into the left hand. Pick your left leg all the way back. Just tap the floor at the back of the mat. And then bring the left knee back in. Foot comes down and sit down, Malasana. Yes, try that one more time. Right hand comes down. Push into the right hand. See if you can keep this left knee bent as you extend your right leg back. And then bring it all the way back in. Bring a little bit of fire into your legs. Left hand down. Push down and see if we can pick that left foot up. Extend it all the way to the back. And then bring it back. Place the foot down and sit down. Good. Take the hands down. Lift the hips up. Heel toe the feet to the centre now. Hold on to opposite elbows and then relax your head. Yeah, feel the legs stretch here. Bend your knees so you've got that nice uh, protection in your back. And you can sway from side to side. So feel all the blood pool in your head, waking up your brain. And feel the weight of your head stretch the vertebra, stretch the spine, and stretch your hamstrings. Releasing the hands, start to roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. I'm going to bend my knees here so you can see my head. But you're going to bring your chin to your chest. And then start to curl the, the, the head down, rolling through the spine. Yeah, so head, crown of the head leads the way as you start to lower your way back down. Once you get there, take a halfway lift. So you're going to lift your head and chest up, lengthen the spine straight. And then exhale, fold forwards, chin to chest and roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. So we'll try that again. Once you come to standing, drop the chin to the chest again. Let the shoulders slump forwards. Let the spine round as you lead with the crown of the head. Once you get as low as you can go, then you breathe in, lift your head and chest up, draw the chest forwards, and then exhale, fold it forwards. Okay, roll your way up, last thing to come up is the head. This is the last one now. Okay, once you come to standing, bring your chin back down to your chest. Let the shoulders slump forwards. Really feel each vertebra as you lead with the crown of the head. Notice any stiffness in your neck. Keep your head soft. Once the hands touch the floor, breathe in, lift the head and chest up. And then breathe out, fold forwards. Now plant your hands on the floor and take your right leg back, left leg back into your first plank pose and start to rock forwards and back. Now waking up your wrists, take a little circle through the fingertips and the heels of the hands. And take the circles the other way. Good. Can you hover your right foot off the floor and bring your right foot outside your right hand? And then take your right leg all the way back. Last time, just on that left side. You can always lower your right knee down and bring your left foot just outside your left hand. And then extend your left leg back. Lower your knees to the floor once you get there. And let uh, the whole body lower down, one long plank. Elbows brush the ribcage. Breathe in, lift the head and chest up, stretch the front of your body. And then take it straight up and back into your first downward facing dog. Take a full deep breath in. And open mouth and exhale, let it go. 
Okay, three vinyasas, waking up your body. Come up high onto your toes, roll yourself forward into your plank pose, head comes into place last. Drop your knees if you want to, or go down one long plank. Elbows brush the rib cage. Lift the head and chest up, cobra or upward dog. What are you feeling today? Take it straight up and back, downward facing dog. And then again, breathe in, come up high onto your toes, roll forwards. Breathe out as you lower down. You can keep your knees off the floor if you like. Breathing in to lift yourself up into upward dog. Breathing out to take it all the way up and back downward dog. Last time, breathe in, high onto your toes, roll forward, smooth with your breath. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take it back. Let's get moving. Step your feet together. And breathe in, lift your right leg to the sky. Heel into your bottom, open up the hip. Enjoy the stretch there. Bring your right knee outside your right arm and slot the foot outside your right hand. Good. Now edge that left foot back as far as you can. You can. And then lower the left knee. Come onto the fingertips and draw your chest forwards. Mm -hmm. Let your right foot turn onto the right side and rock from side to side. That's not good though, stay in stillness. Push the left palm flat onto the floor, twist right fingers to the sky. Option to bend that back leg in, and it's just an option. Push the foot into the hand and try and draw your chest forwards. Breathe in. Good. If you want more, press the heel into the bottom, the elbow to the sky. <laughs> Good morning. Nice guys, release the left foot, hand comes down, press your right foot flat, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee, and then let's let the front foot move to the back. Okay, hips up and back, downward facing dog. All right, stepping your feet together, breathe in, left leg to the sky, you can bring the heel into the bottom, open up the hip. And then bring your left knee outside your left arm. Slot the foot outside the hands. So I like to walk this right foot back. And then lower the knee to the floor. Come onto the fingertips, draw the head and chest forwards. Turn that left foot onto its side. How's that feeling in our hips there? And you can rock side to side. Or stillness is good too. And now plant the right hand flat. Left arm comes up and around. Now you can bend that back leg in or not. You choose. I'm going to push the foot into the hand and try and spin my chest forwards. Yeah. And then you can try maybe quad stretch a bit more. Squeeze your heel into your bottom. Fingers over the tops of the toes. Elbow up. Good morning. Right quad. Inhale. Nice guys, lovely. Release the right foot. Hands flat, foot flat. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. And then let that front foot move to the back. Vinyasa this time. Elbows brush the rib cage. You can always drop the knees down. Lift it, lifting up into your up dog or your cobra. And then take it straight up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good. So bring your feet together and as you breathe in, lift the right leg up, heel to bottom, open up the hip. Now bring your right knee into your nose and slot your foot inside the hands. All right, now tuck your tail under and lift your arms up into your high lunge. Now are your wrists Struggling, can you give your wrist a little circle? And then bring the hands to the heart center, thumbs into the chest bone. Tuck your tail so much, the left knee drops towards the floor. We're really waking up these legs. 
and then straighten that left leg. And again, tucking the tail so much that left knee drops towards the floor. And then straighten the leg. Nice guys, last time, get that tuck. And then the left knee bends. And then straighten. Well done, good, lower the hands down. Bend the left leg, left foot inside the hands, and then take your right leg back. <laughs> Come up into a high lunge shape. Yeah, how's that right, right hip there feeling now? So you can bring the hands to the heart center, press your palms together, legs strong, belly tucks, tailbone tucks, sorry, and then the right knee bends. Maybe it taps the floor. And then straighten. Good. And again, get that tuck. Feel the right hand, uh, sorry, yeah, quads and hip flexors stretch. And then straighten. Good. Last time, get the tuck. And then see if that knee can tap. And then straighten. Well done, girl. Guys, hands by the side, both foot. And then let the front foot move to the back. You feel all that strength in your legs there. Vinyasa or not, you know, if you're tired, meet me in a downward dog. Head and chest up. Take it up and back, downward facing dog. Now enjoy that fire in your legs. Breathe in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Let's keep it moving. You know you can stop anytime. So step your feet together. Breathe in, lift your right leg up. Heel into your bottom, open up the hip. Bring your right knee into your nose. Slot the foot inside the hands. This should feel easy now. Lift your arms up into high lunge. So moving through this, ground the back heel. Walk your front foot forward, spine warrior two. Flip the front palm, reach it forwards, good. And then take it back, that looks good there, okay? Bend down to that front knee. Well done, guys. Big circle, right hand comes down. Big circle, left arm up and over. Pick your back heel up, walk your right foot to the right hand. Bend the left leg and bring it to the front of the mat. Now bend both knees, tuck your tail under. Sweep your arms up into a chair pose. How's those quads? How's those hamstrings feeling there? Come up onto your left toes. And then lift your left thigh up to your chest. And then cross it over your right leg. Now if you're struggling to balance, just put the block on the floor, the toes on the block. Or you can have your toes on the floor. If you're all good, wrap the foot around the calf. Arms out in front, right arm goes underneath the left, cross at the elbows, bring the palms to meet. Breathe in. Breathe out, sit down and send the elbows up higher. Good. Release the hands, take them by your side. Release the left leg, take it up to the sky, hands to the floor, heel to the bottom, open up the hip. How good does that feel? And then lower your left foot next to your right. Take a halfway lift, lift the head and chest up. Enjoy all those sensations. And then exhale, plant the hands. Bend the knees, jump, or step your feet back into a plank. Vinyasa, or skip it, you choose. What would you like to do here? What would you like to do apart from go and have a cup of tea? Keep at it, stay here, we're nearly there. Step your feet together, breathe in, left leg to the sky. Heel to bottom, open up the hip. And as you breathe out, left knee into nose. This should be easy now, slot the foot inside the hands, or getting easier. Lift the arms up, high lunge. Well done, now ground the back heel, 45. Walk your front foot forward, spine warrior two. Flip the palm, reach your forwards and take it back. 
Breathe into the side of your body. Windmill the left hand down, big circle, right arm up and over. Plant the hand down, pick your heel up, left foot over to the left hand. Step your right foot to the top of the mat. Let's fire up these legs a little bit more, bend your knees, tuck your tail, reach your arms up. Good, fierce pose. It's gonna make you strong. Push back into your heels. Feel the toes. Hands come heart center, and we're going to come up onto the toes of the right foot. Cross the right leg over the left. Don't forget, you can have a block under your foot. You can have the toes on the floor. You can wrap the foot all the way around. Arms come forwards. Left arm crosses under the right. Back to the hands to meet. You might keep the cross open. Yeah, maybe bring the palms to meet. Breathe in, breathe out, sit down deeper, lift the arms up higher. Well done, release the hands, release the right leg, hands down, leg up to the sky, heel to the bottom, open up the hip. You always have your hands on that block there. And then lower the right foot next to the left. Breathe in, lift the head and chest up. And then breathe out and fold it forwards. Relax, tummy, chest, head, nice heavy head. Good guys, let's go through this now. So roll your way up, last thing to come up is the head. And instead of doing that back bend, let's do what we did earlier. So you're gonna drop your chin to your chest. Let the shoulders slump forwards. Try and lead with the crown of the head as much as you can. Have a bend in your knees. Once the hands touch the floor, breathe in, lift the head and chest up. And then breathe out, plant the hands, jump or step the feet back. Vinyasa or skip it, yeah? You choose. Wherever you are, meet me in a downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Nice guys. All right, let's lift the right leg to the sky. Heel into the bottom, open up the hip. Now, if it suits you, we're going to do a wild thing here. If that feels like, oh no, this is too early, I'm not ready, then just hang tight here. Or move your shoulders over your hands a bit and let the right foot just tap the floor behind you. Right hand comes up, reach the fingers to the front of the mat. You can always just stay in a three leg dog. Then look into your left hand, bring your right hand back down, right knee to your right wrist, right foot towards your left wrist, walk that left leg back. We're coming into a little pigeon. Hands forwards, stay on your fingertips. Okay, like you're playing the piano with your hands and lower down. Take a breath in, lift the head and chest up. And a long breath out. All right, walk your hands back in, guys. Well done. How are we feeling? <laughs> Just lean onto your right side a minute. We'll come into a twist. Left leg, make this part of your mobility. Bring the knee up, 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 and around, round, round. Hook the foot on the outside of that right leg. Right arm around the left knee. Left fingertips behind you to twist. Inhale. You're going to feel so amazing at the end of this. And exhale. Yeah, they say in early morning practice is when you're closest to your, your divine, your true you. All right, release. Excellent. Take the left leg all the way around. Again, it's part of your mobility. Part of shaking out any tension in that hip, which might be physical, might be mental. 
hands down, tuck your back toes, and we'll take your right leg back into down dog, wiggle the hips. Okay, so let's try that on the other side. Left leg to the sky, heel into your bottom, open up the hip there, enjoy that. Now you can be here, you can wait here for us, or you can let the left foot touch the floor, left hand sweeps up and over, reach the fingers to the, the front of the mat, breathe in. So it's nice to get this stretch here. And then breathe out, look to your right hand, left hand comes back, and we'll bring the left knee to the left wrist, left foot to right wrist, slide the back leg away. Awesome, guys. That's it then, same in the fingertips, walk the hands forwards, Settle into your pigeon for a moment. I want energy in that back foot. So we're not flopping here in pigeon. We're working in pigeon. We're not being youngsters today, we're being youngsters. So energy through that back foot. Engage the muscles in the shape. Okay, walk your hands back. And we'll fall onto this right, uh, left side and then mobility in this right leg. Use your hands if you need to steady yourself. Now, if not, use the strength in this left hip and the mobility in the right hip. And we'll hook the foot over the left knee. You can always slip and uh, pop yourself on a block if you need to here. Left hand around the right knee, right fingertips behind you. Now think from both sitting bones pushing down, and then from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head, nice and tall. It's like we're at the very beginning in our molasma shape. Energy from the hips drawing downwards, and then from the crown lifting upwards. Oh, coming back to the center. And again, so as part of your mobility, picking that right foot up and then seeing if you can create that nice big circle of strength in your left hip, mobility in your right hip, and then toes tuck under, back into that pigeon shape. Okay, so hands down, tuck your back toes, and we'll take the left leg back into your downward dog. And then I want you to bend your knees and look forwards. And then try and jump your feet outside the hands. You can always just set them one at a time if you like. Coming back into your malasana shape. <laughs> Palms together, elbows into your knees. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Big breath in. And long breath out. So let's uh, take the left hand, get, have a little look at your left hand, and keep your gaze on that left hand as you start to reach it behind you. And then with confidence, lean into the left hand and see if you can lift your hips up and reach your right fingers to the back. Yeah, just go to your version of this. You might just be reaching, looking back, yeah. And then come back to the center. Good, well done. And again, just do your version of this. So you can gaze at your right hand and then just follow it. You might just pop it down on the floor behind you, or you might be able to lean into the right hand, look at the left hand and lift it up and over your head. And then making your way all the way back. Okay, try that one more time each, each side. So again, you're just following that left hand. You might just be able to pop it on the floor and that's it, that's cool. Or you can push into the left hand to lift the hips up and reach. And then sitting the bum back down, coming back to the center. And then look at that right hand, go for it. Take it all the way back. Push into the hand, lift the left hand up, reach up and over. And then sit in the hips down, coming back, Malasana. Ooh, well done, guys. 
Reach your hands forward. Somehow can the bum rest on the floor? And then take the legs out, give them a lovely stretch. Good. So that was a lot of deep, deep, deep in your hips there. So they've been in this shape for, for a while. So if you've got a block, grab one and stick it underneath your right hip. And then see if you can, with the right hip on the block, or right sitting bone on the block, fold your left foot behind you. And then extend your right leg out in front. And then walk your hands back and just see if you can get a stretch through the front of that, that left thigh, left hip there. And for me, the block there uh, stops me getting into my hip. So I'm going to take the block away. Maybe that's the same for you. Settle down into the floor. And I'm going to lower down onto my elbows and then lower down onto my back. But you see where it feels good for you. And I still need a little bit more here and that might be the case for you. So I'm going to push my knee down and try and put, tuck my tail under to lift my pubic bone up so I'm getting into that hip. So I know some of us, this will be agony, this pose. So you'll stay at the beginning. But then some of us have just got longer quads and, and more room in our hip flexors. So you can just see what you need from this pose. Okay. So then you can start to bring yourself back up and then extend that left leg out. The same thing now if you want to pop the hip onto that, the left sitting bone onto that block. Yeah. You can always use a pillow as well and then fold the, the right leg in. Lean back, see how that feels there for you. So you can always make this more here by tucking under. Yeah, so you're tucking under and then feeling more stretch there. Again, if, you're, if you did it on the other side though, you probably want to do it this side too. Taking the block away. Yeah, and the foot is just on the outside of the thigh. You can lower down onto your elbows, tuck, keep tucking under, and then maybe lower down onto your back. Okay, mindful of the knee, if there's any unusual pain in your knee, then you probably want to come out of this shape, yeah? Breathing in, tuck the tail, explore your, your, your right hip flexor, quad. How's all that doing? Good. Okay, make your way back up. Release that le left leg, oh, sorry, right leg. And that's it. And then bend your knees, feet flat. Okay, we're going to lower down onto our backs, right where we came from at the very beginning, if you can remember that far back. Okay, so come into your, your bridge pose. Breathe in. And breathe out. Barely draws back, tuck your tail and lift the hips up to the sky. Now, a few options here. If this is enough for you and you want to just stay here, place the block underneath the sacrum, okay? So the block is on its sort of long edge there and underneath the sacrum. Okay, but if you feel like you need a little bit more, turn it up so it's on its high rise uh, way. And it's super big if you do want to try it. So be careful. But it is nice to get those hips up high and just have them supported there so you can relax the, the glutes and the hamstrings and just feel the stretch through the hip flexors and in the spine. And if you can't do wheel, you know, if you can't do your crab shape, then maybe this is a good place to stay. But if you can do wheel, maybe take a block away, hands by your ears, fingers towards your shoulders, squeeze those elbows in and make your way into wheel. Now there's no better shape to get into to wake up your day, whether it's bridge pose, supported bridge, or up into this wheel shape. A massive counter pose to your day, to this day ahead. 
looking up, start to bend your elbows if you're up, take the block away if it's there, and then start to lower the spine down, vertebra by vertebra. Well done, guys. Feet as wide as the mat, windscreen wiper right for the legs. And then we can bring the knees into the chest, give them a nice squeeze there. That might be enough for you there. How does that feel? Yeah, would you like to stay there? Or you can come up into your wheel shape. Uh, sorry, plyo pose. Yeah, legs up and over your head, toes touching the floor behind you. Yeah. You choose. Well done, guys. You're going to have the most amazing morning. Now, if you want to go into your shoulder stand, you're going to take your heels into your bottom and your feet straight up to the sky. And then palms flat onto the floor and start to lower the spine down. Yeah, coming out of it, so wherever you are. Okay. And you can bring the soles of the feet together, knees open, arms up and over your head. Or maybe you're done. You just want to take your feet to the corners of the mat, legs straight, arms down by your side. Take a big, full breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Maybe you've got um, more time and you could stay there a little bit longer. Maybe you have to stay there a bit longer, maybe it's just whacked. And you can use the next five minutes just to gather up your energy. Gathering up the energy and bringing it into this uh, nice, strong, flexible, adaptable body. If you're ready to move with me, you're deepening your breathing, moving your toes and moving your fingers. Reaching the arms above the head, you can do a nice full body stretch. Roll to the right hand side, take a little time in a fetal shape. Or keeping your eyes closed as you come up to seated to face the front. Or sitting in any shape that you, you feel like. Hands together, thumbs pushing into the chest bone. And gratitude to yourselves for getting out of bed on Bank Holiday Monday. And gratitude to yourselves for moving through the class as best you could. Take a full deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Namaste. Have a beautiful day, guys. May you be free and full of strength. Thank you so much for coming.